Now, these are extraordinary times. The pandemic has left the global economy bleeding, governments, businesses, individuals. Everyone is cutting costs. And believe it or not, God, it seems, gods, it seems, are also not an exception. Temples around the world are battling financial strain. and Many of them are being forced to cut capacity. This report tells you more. Temples are closed, donation boxes are empty, collection plates have no money. In short, there is economic tension in the sky. The gods held an urgent meeting, they decided on cost cutting. India's richest temple wasted no time in following the order. The Tirupati Balaji temple let go of its contractual workers. 1,300 of them. Their contract ended on the 30th of April and the temple board did not renew it. It said there was neither time for a meeting nor was there any work for the workers. Now the sanitation workers are jobless. The temple cannot do much despite possessing wealth worth 20 billion US dollars. Yes, you heard that right. This 2,000-year-old temple is India's richest. The Tirupati Balaji temple is located in the South Indian state of Andhra Pradesh. It attracts at least 40,000 visitors daily. The temple makes $11 million a year by selling laddus alone. But its gates have been closed since the 20th of March and the temple now finds itself making some tough decisions. The Tirupati temple is not alone. In Los Angeles, a church has sent over a dozen of its workers on leave without pay. The St. Andrew Catholic Church said there was no income to pay the employees. Churches in New York too have had to furlough workers. Most of these churches have gone 100% virtual meaning there is no real offering being collected at Sunday services. The story is no different at mosques. Ramzan is their biggest fundraiser, but the coronavirus has poured cold water over the holy month. There are no public Friday prayers. Mosques too are battling financial strains. In the United States, some mosques have let go of their staff. Fundraisers are now being held to help the imams. If this doesn't spell disaster, what does? If God's nearest and dearest are losing their jobs, do we really want to think about what will happen to the rest of us? God bless us. Bureau Report, we are...